Okay, so let's create a you know contract. This is remix ID. So let's create a new file called blog. So so first thing we need to do is add our license. So we've had that. Um, next thing is to do uh, solidity pragma pragma solidity uh, version 0 0.8.0 so the next thing is to declare our contract we'll call that blog uh then the next thing to do is to declare the owner of this contract so we'll say address is what the owner okay and the next thing to do is to create some sort of uh, blog templates for our blog. So we're going, we're going to use a struct for that. So we'll say struct, and then we'll call it blog templates. Okay. Then after that, we would have to put some parameters into our template. So our template would basically need the title. So that would be a string uh, called post title and then we would have and then we'll have another string called the body post body uh, and then we'll have um an address for the post author okay so once we have that set um so i can get an error here so I'll just put this, yeah, I should fix it. So the next thing to do is to declare um, an only owner address. No, it's all the other. So the next thing to do is to create a mapping for our block templates. Let's do a mapping of view is 256 to our struct, which is the block templates. And that will give us our blog. Let's call that the blog ID. ID. So with that being said, the next thing to do is to create a state variable called counter. So you to count the amount of of um posts we make. So we say you int two fifty six. Call that a counter, and then we set it to zero. So it starts from zero. And the next thing to do is to create the blog. So to create this blog, we would need to create a function called create, uh, create post, create post. And we would need to get some parameters. We'll need to get uh, the address, which should be the post auto. And then we can get the, the string which will be stored in memory, uh, memory as the post title, and then we'll get another string in memory to also get this should be an underscore because the uh, variable. Uh huh. So also get the post body. So all of this would be public and do we need to add a view function to it? No, it's public and then we want to return. What do we want to return? No, it's just public. Yes. So there are two ways to basically get all of this data into storage, but uh, we'll do the other way Then maybe some other time we'll try out the, the easy way. So we call our struct. Our struct, we call our struct, which is the blog template, and then we send it to storage, and then we can basically call this blog post. Okay, so blog post should be equal to our blog ID. So by getting the blog post through the blog ID, so we would say blog, which is our mapping, blog ID, it would be set to the the counter. So we use the counter to do that. So the next thing now is error we get enough. Okay, we haven't used those variables yet. 
So the next thing now we can now say blog post is equal to plus blog post dot what we have in our in our in our struct, which is the post title is equal to what we have here as the post title. And then the next thing is the blog post is in no particular order actually. Uh, dot the, the the post body, right? Post body is equal to the post body. Okay. The next thing is to get the auto, which is the address. So we say blog post. There's an easier way to do this. Um, we'll do that later. Blog post dot uh the post author is equal to underscore post author. Okay, so we have that set. So after all of this is done, we want to basically iterate through um add uh, uh, iterate through the counter. So what we'll do. What we'll do is to say iterate through the console. What we'll do is to say counter plus plus. So that's it. As a first function. So we need a getter function to get a single post. So we'll say function uh single post. Get single post. Let's do that. Get single post. So we'll be getting this post with the with the ID, which is the counter basically. So to get single post, we would need to so we need to get the ID from the counter. So we'll say you int 256, the counter, and then this should be public a view and should return. So it returns the struct. So it returns the block template, the block templates, which is the struct block template will be from memory. So the next thing now is to try to get that. So what we'll use is the blog ID and then we'll put in the counter. All right. So this, we have just two functions running here. There's an error that we get in. Okay. And an explicit value to know if that's it. Oh, 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 so I get it. So we're meant to return, return this. <laughs> yes, so we're meant to return the block ID. So now that we're done, we need to test what we're doing. So let's, let's compile. I think it's automatically compiled. Compiled. Now let's deploy. So we've deployed this contract. Um. Yeah. So create post. I need to get an address. So let me use one of these addresses. So if I impute this address, I give you the title of my new blog. Or oh, all about solidity. Let's say all about solidity. And then for the post, we want to, I'm just going to put something random. Solidity is the best way to write smart contracts. So if we transact, we see that we have a successful transaction right here. Um, it has all the details, transaction ash, the from, the toll, the gas fee, cost, and, and so on and so forth. So if we want to basically just get a single post, we can use the counter. So the first thing we posted is zero. So if we put in zero there, uh, we should get the results, which is what we're seeing here. So let's let's do something else. Let's add another post. Let's say, uh, hello Monday. And the body as welcome to a new world. If we transact, uh, we want to try to get that. That should be on counter two, also counter one. So if we do this one, and then 
get that. So we can see that we have retrieved that data here. If we go back to zero, we can get what's in zero. So it just means everything is stored in storage. So that's how we get all of this. Stored in storage and we get them from memory actually. So that's how to create a basic blog framework or templates using Solidity. Thank you. People is week three at the Web3 Bridge Bootcamp. We're right here learning blockchain and Web3 technology. This week has been an amazing week so far. Um, we've learned about the softwares we need to install to run, you know, a local blockchain like Ganache. We installed the tools and dependencies for the trade like Truffle, Hadat, Ganache, Foundry. We had all of that installed on our computer to get things rolling. And we also learned how to use this, the Remix IDE. So the Remix IDE basically is um, an online interface where we can do most of our blockchain and smart contracts writing. It's just so easy to use. Um, so we also spoke about, we learned actually, we also learned about using um, the data types in Solidity. I can give you some examples like the string, the uint, the address, the struct, fantastic stuff, <laughs> you know. Learned about function visibility, in the uh, internal, external, uh, public, uh, and private visibility for your functions. We also learned about modifiers, how you can basically customize a modifier that can be added to a function. You know, an example of one of those modifiers is an only owner modifier. So this video is taking too long. Um, I'm going to show you a practical session of how to use uh, the modifier, how to use the variables, how to use um, the data types, how to use all of this in a practical session. So what we'll do this week is to basically create a basic blog template using Solidity.